a feeling like I went to Russia without going to Ukraine first. I have told you several times, letters were sent out. I wouldn't turn out my visit to Russia because I'm unable to reach Ukraine. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for creating time to also come uh, address us uh, in this very important uh, conference, but also creating time to, uh, for the two of us to meet today. And I'm grateful for the invitation that I received from uh, uh, Right Honorable Speaker. So I am happy to be here. We have been very well received, so we appreciate that. And like you said, my coming here underscores the fact that as a leader of the parliamentary network of the world, and BRICS being part of it, because BRICS attracts 10, uh, 10 member countries, and so are the 10 member parliaments, and some of them have two uh, chambers, so uh, I have come to show solidarity and support uh, for them as they are leader. But on the other hand, uh, the ideals of IPU will go as well with the ideals of BRICS, and so we will be working together uh, towards that, and I had a bilateral with uh, Madam Speaker, and we have talked about the relationship between BRICS and IPU, but also the relationship between our two parliaments, uh, the Parliament of the United the Republic of Tanzania and also the, uh, the Parliament of Russia. So that said, uh, IPU as a multilateral organization, we we pride ourselves into having been there for 135 years, and out of those, Russia has been part of it for 118 uh, years, which is not uh, which is not a small number of years. It's a long time, and also I would like to extend the appreciation of the IPU generally because Russia has been a very active member since its joining of the IPU, and so we have been working together in all the areas that uh, IPU works on. One of the areas that we have been uh, working together is the area of parliamentary diplomacy and of course IPU puts greater emphasis on the issue of uh, parliamentary dialogue and in this dialogue it because it brings together more than uh, 46,000 member members of parliament, and we use dialogue to bring on board the issues of interest to different countries.